Hello and welcome back to this Video Studio Pro X6 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you variable speeds. Basically what variable speeds are is a thing which can allow you to add different speeds inside a video clip. So to do variable speeds all you have to do is select the clip that you want to add the variable speed to, click options, click variable speed and then you'll see that this is your video clip in here and this is the timeline. So you'll notice that the video speed defaults to normal speed which is 100% and if you want to add different speeds within this video clip all you have to do is go to the section on the timeline where you want the speed to change and then click add keyframe which is just here you'll see the keyframe has now been added you'll also notice that the speed is still at 100% or at normal just down here but what I'm going to do is just speed it up to around 200% if you can't quite get it with the slider then you can just type it in or use the arrows just here to get the number you want so you'll see I've got 200% here but then if we slide back to the beginning where the first keyframe is you'll also notice that it's still at 100% so you'll notice that there is also a keyframe at the end of the video here and if you left click on that you'll notice that's 100% so if we were to play this video from the beginning, it starts off at 100, then it goes to 200 because we've just set it to 200, but then it goes back to 100, which would mean that if we played it, it would gradually pick up speed, reach 200, and then it would slow back down as you're playing the video to 100 again. So to get around this, all you have to do is either add another keyframe somewhere along the line here, or to increase the speed of your final keyframe. So I'm just going to increase this one to 200 as well and then when we play this video it should, the video should start at 100% and it should gradually get to 200 and then it should finish off all along here at 200% so I'm just going to press play here you'll notice that the speed is just picking up here it's now reached 200 and it's now going to stay at 200 until it reaches the end of the video So that's basically all there is to adding variable speeds in Video Studio Pro X6. I hope this video has helped you and thanks for watching.